Good morning. It's Thursday and look where we are. It is Thursday. My camera's still a little foggy because it's so humid outside, but we are back at Castaway Key. If you watched my video yesterday, which I will link above, then you know that we had to sail away from Castaway Key without ever getting off the ship because of a series of thunderstorms. So we are back. The sky looks beautiful. The weather looks beautiful, but we are not going to waste a minute. So we are dressed and ready for the beach. We're going to head to grab something quick for breakfast, and then we're heading right on to castaway key to enjoy our day there today just because you never know with the weather so tonight we have a, a reservation at remy which is the most formal adult only reservations required restaurant on the ship the other one is palo which unfortunately because of a few different snafus we are not going to be able to eat at on this cruise, but we are going to Remy. Today was originally our day at sea, and so we booked our reservation for 6 p.m. thinking we will have been on the ship all day and we'll have more than enough time. So it's a little bit of a bummer because we're gonna have to kind of cut our day just a little bit short to get back up here and ready for Remy, but we're really looking forward to it, so it's okay. So that is the story. We're gonna go grab something quick to eat and then we are going to Castaway Key. So exciting. We are officially on the island. This is our first time on dry land in Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, three days about. You know, the fact that we almost didn't get to come here makes this experience even that much sweeter. Like I'm even that much more excited to explore the island and see everything that's on it. There's the little post office. It's actually run by the Bohemian government. It's not employed by Disney employees. Check out the ship from here. It looks great. Look at this water. Can you believe it? Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. Here's some of the shops. First stop, an island bike ride. We're on a bike ride. Our bike adventure and we came to this outlook so we're gonna come up here and see what we can see look at the ship Ocean outlook. Y'all, I cannot describe how beautiful this day is. Oh my goodness, look at this water! We've just finished a wonderful bike ride around the island and now we're picking up some snorkeling gear to go snorkeling. We're heading out to the beach. Look at this view of the ship! We have been here at Serenity Bay for the past couple of hours now. It is absolutely so serene. This is the adults only section of the island and the water is just beautiful and still and everyone's talking really quietly and it's just absolutely lovely. We've, the water's actually freezing. We're gonna go snorkeling but it is so cold. So, but we did wade in like waist deep and it's just gorgeous. The day is perfect. I'm so glad that we got to make it here after all.
We are in line at Serenity Bay Barbecue. Here's what we are having. But we're gonna try not to eat too much because we are going to Remy tonight. Here's what I got. There was all kinds of delicious, like potato salad, coleslaw, tomato salad, Greek salad, quinoa. There was all kinds of fruit. You could get chicken, steak, ribs, burgers, hot dogs, all kinds of stuff. And it's a lovely spot. And since we're in Serenity Bay, it is kid free, which I don't, kids don't bother me, but it is nice to have a day where it's just so quiet. This is possibly the best part about a Disney cruise is the unlimited soft serve ice cream. Sadly, it's time for us to leave Castaway Key. It has been the most beautiful, perfect day. We're back from our Castaway Key day, and it was absolutely perfect. It was absolutely perfect. Was that not such a best fun day ever? It was really awesome. It was so good. Let me show you outside before we get showered and ready for dinner, because it's just, this place is unbelievable. It's so gorgeous. lovely hey y'all it is just about 5 30 now i am in my dress um for remy and riley is coming out now he just got dressed he is in his suit i don't think he's put on his jacket yet but we're about to head to remy we're both really looking forward to it the ship is sailing once again so um yeah we're on our way back to port canaveral sadly so if you are not familiar, this um, restaurant we're going to tonight is very formal. Like men must wear jackets and full suits and women, you know, whatever. There's like a very strict dress code. It's multiple courses. It's this whole thing. It takes like three hours. So although I would love to film the entire thing from start to finish, I don't think that that would be appropriate. So no doubt we will give you our review when we are back, but um, I think it would be like I said, kind of inappropriate to be pulling out a camera. So, I'll see you guys later. We're in the lounge waiting for our reservation. Riley's looking very dapper. <laughs> There's my cover up. Let me use my rose I got to point. <laughs> that was my cover up. Here's my man. Tell us about Remy. Oh, wow. It was <laughs> so good. I'm so full. Um, we tried everything we could, and did you like it? Yes, I thought the experience was insane. It was, a, a, like, definitely the nicest restaurant I've ever been to. Yeah, yeah, man, yeah, yeah. super great. Show them what we got to bring home with us. Well, first of all, I got a, ro I got a rose. We also got... They brought a big silver golden egg. A huge egg. And they opened it, and they're like, look at this, the little cake for your anniversary. And they're like, we'll bring it back out. And they like took the egg away. And, and then, then the sliced it. Out. But it had like in, written in French, happy anniversary yeah. on it. And then and they... then we were eating that. Then they were like, here is also a citrus tart and a chocolate tart, along with some raspberry wheels and some gold dusted chocolate. In and case homemade you don't lollipops. Have and homemade lollipops. And they're like, do you want us to box it up? And we're like, yeah. Then they were like, thank you for coming. Here's some chocolate. <laughs> and then they gave us a box of more chocolate. And they kept bringing things, and I'm so full. It was, how many courses was it? Like six? I don't know. What do you count as a course? Like, there's bread. Well, they came out and made us a special. Oh, yeah, we got a special cocktail to start. Based on a um, Colette from, from Rem. Ratatouille. Which was really cute. Then we got the... Then they brought us bread. Well, I think we got the tomato soup bite first. Right, just a we little had, bite like, of... We this um, fried tomato soup bite. It was really good. Then they asked us what water we wanted. Yeah, what kind like, of water. Well, There's a whole water menu. <laughs> they were like, do you drink a lot of water? And, and I was we were like, like mm, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but then, like, then the well, guy next to this. us... At the table next to us, she asked him that, and he was like, no, I don't barely drink any water. And she started, the waitress started cracking up. Then we got bread, and there was, like, a selection of bread, and they had these, like, this special way that they, like, put it on the table. Oh, and then they had delicious homemade oh, butter. European butter with a gold R for Remy on it, and then a special little thing of, like, this little... Some special like, salt. And shovel thing, thing of salt. Yeah. And you, so you would make, like, your own salted butter. And I got, like, a little French baguette, mm. and he got some brioche. 
Yeah. And then we had... They brought us our first course. No, and then they brought us that pre-first course that had that little, that like pastry thing on top that you had to crack. Right. With like the mousse. So a mousse bouche. Okay, so that was like... Palate cleanser. That's like three, yeah, it's like a palate cleanser. That's like three courses. Then we had, I think, four like... Five courses on the menu, but then, they, but then they brought us cheese. And cheese. There was like a cheese cart that came out and you had to choose. They told, talked you through every cheese and there was honeycomb and fresh figs and fresh apricots and you had to choose which one and then they would pair it. Then they brought the right crackers to go with it. And then she did like the crumb sweeper thing, but it wasn't like the normal crumb sweeper thing. It was like the special razor <laughs> one. Crumb sweeper. You know what I'm talking about? I don't think anybody knows what that is. I didn't know what it was until tonight. Well, I, I've had the... I don't know if I've... I've at least seen it on movies and stuff. I don't know if I've ever been to a restaurant. So that was that. And dessert was like five courses on its own. We had like the cheese and then this and that. Riley got a drink. Oh, I got iced tea and they brought, um, they were like, it's going to be a few minutes because we're going to make it homemade. So they brought me this big, first of all, all the glassware was beautiful. Oof. Well, all the plates, everything was beautiful. I never beautiful. noticed glassware till tonight. And then I was like, this is nice glassware. I don't know a lot about it, but this, I know this is nice. Yeah. So, so my thin. ice my iced tea was like they brought this like big beautiful glass of um frozen iced tea cubes, no water, and then she came and poured like the fresh iced tea over it, which melted them a little bit, but like it didn't obviously dilute it because it was great. iced tea and it was like so delicious. The water that we ordered from the water menu was so <laughs> delicious. We were feeling very swanky. Mm -hmm. Oh, and we had the most beautiful view. Yeah, just like off the back of the ship. The very, very dead back of the ship. And so you can just see like a panoramic view of the ocean. And we sat down to eat at six. And so there was still a lot of light. And we got to just like watch the ocean go by. It was a two hour meal. Yeah, at least it was. Yeah, it's nine o'clock now and it was a 6 p.m. meal. So it was, it took a little over two hours. And then we did, wow. we went to check on our photos. Wow, yeah, it did. Um, it was amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Really I, great. I highly recommend it if you are interested in spending a few hundred dollars. It is not inexpensive and it is just an experience. Like it's just this whole experience and they matched our cloth napkins to our clothing. <laughs> yeah. So when we sat down at the table, we they had white, but Riley's wearing a navy suit and I'm wearing a navy dress. So she was like, I'll be right back. Let me go get you um, navy napkins. Let me go get you some napkins. So they went and got napkins that matched our our clothing and put those out and it was like the attention to detail and just I've been to in my life a couple of nice restaurants but this one was by far the nicest and she was giving us like the credentials there's an American chef and a French chef that run the restaurant and she was giving us the credentials of the two of them and it's incredible yeah. it's incredible I I wish I understood more so I could repeat it to you well, it was three star michelin star for 17 years in europe which that's the highest number you can only get three stars that's and the then highest in america number. it's three star michelin star and then five stars so it was really something else yes. it was definitely not the kind of thing you do all the time no. every part i mean they brought out like a silver egg to give us an anniversary cake a giant silver egg like to show us our a huge cake. silver egg and they were like they like took the white gloves and they like pulled it off and there was this like gorgeous chocolate glazed cake and they're like okay we're gonna like take this away and like cut it up for you and we we're like okay and they brought all this other stuff then they gave me a rose it was really special it was amazing it was definitely a great way to end this trip which we are not ready to end yet so here's our nightly towel animal to bring things down a few notches. <laughs> it's a really cute elephant. I think it's my favorite one. I liked this one. And then the first night we got that dog, which was really cute. And then, of course, our nightly chocolates. And they turned down the bed. I said this yesterday, but this is like one of my very favorite times of day. Because it's just so cozy to come back to your little stateroom. It's all cleaned up. You've just had a nice dinner. And then they've done all this for you. Um, and then this is like a comment card that they have asked us to fill out for our wait staff, um, which they all get an excellent. That is like the thing about this cruise that has set it apart from any experience I've ever had before has been the service. The people on this cruise ship have gone so above and beyond to make sure that we were happy and comfortable and having fun and having every like 
it has blown me away the level of service it's like been so cr actually a couple of days before we left for this trip i called disney cruise line to make a couple of requests and ask a couple of questions and when i got off the phone i actually started crying <laughs> which is just me in a nutshell because i'm just a really emotional person but because the guy on the phone was so kind to me and just like i hate calling service like lines because they just really stress me out he was so nice to me he was so excited for our vacation he helped me with everything i needed he was so wonderful and that exact same level of service has been the case this whole trip it's been unreal just like completely unbelievable i really don't want to disembark tomorrow so we are going to call it a night tonight after what a fun day Castaway Key and Remy in one day. Just so fun. Um, if you haven't been watching my other vlogs, make sure you go and watch my other vlogs from this cruise because this is my fourth of five. And um, there are certainly quite a few things that we will be doing on our next trip, like going to Palo, which we didn't get to squeeze in this time, although we did try. Anyway, Remy was amazing. So make sure that you like this video, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to my channel for more Disney Cruise content. Even after tomorrow's vlog is published, there will be a lot more. I'm going to do, I think, a Disney Cruise Q&A, um, a first-timers report, a couple of, you know, things like that. Just, just kind of um, information that I was looking for that I had a hard time finding when we were going on this cruise. I'm going to try to kind of pull together for anybody out there who would be interested. So, like this video, subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment below. Have you ever been to a restaurant like that where it just like every part of it just totally blew you away? Because I think this is my first time and it was pretty awesome. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.